Y'all wanna learn about this? These bizarre edits spilled over- Hell no, hell no! Leave me alone, Satan! Satan, leave me alone! I repent! I repent you in the Lord of name of Jesus! Look at this little ass boy. He's real? Get away, Jesus! This post was made to the subreddit r slash Instagram by the user numeruscuts792 on April 15th, 2024. It featured screenshots of three bizarre-looking Instagram pages they had encountered earlier that day, with OP expressing concern that something truly disturbing was happening with these users, and those on the thread agreed. What the actual fuck? Found all of them and blocked them all. Truth Sticks 11 is seriously creepy to me. I've been trying to find more about them, but can hardly find anything. Can I look him up on Instagram and see if I can find it? Should I start? I'm gonna look him up right now. I'm gonna do it on my on my Twitch account so then I don't get banned. All right, hold on. Shout out, shout out, whoever, whoever liked the Instagram reel. I fuck with y'all. Uh, truth, what is it? Truth sticks. Chat, read it out so I can know what to type in. Truth sticks. Nine eleven. Ah. Oh my, it's real. But you gotta follow it. You gotta follow it. Copycat? I legit had the idea idea as soon as you type, bro. You Truth can't have the same idea. Truth underscore sticks underscore 11. Ah, oh, thanks. Successful schoolboy in account looked after by me. A degree educated mother choosing to stay anonymous? Zero followers. Se following 17 people. Why do they follow me? Idea. We have the same idea, bro. Very weird account, to say the least. Don't follow- I'm not! The three accounts apparently belong to three different children. However, when combing through their posts, the content seems to imply something much more bizarre was afoot. Something truly disturbing. If you like kids, get this the fuck out This post would be the chair. start of a story that would eventually be picked up and shared all across the online world, Unless you're a becoming kid, of one course. of the more notorious internet mysteries in recent memory, <laughs> as these accounts revealed an unending rabbit hole that is still being traversed to this very day, in an ongoing investigation into one of the most depraved oddities ever found on Instagram. <laughs> this is the emerging story of Smart Schoolboy 9. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Please switch it. Switch the screen. Thanks. We'll return after these messages. Oh my. When was the last time somebody called me Raspberry, bro? It was Possum and Chan used to say that all the time. All the time. Logged in. Before we get too far down this rabbit hole, I want to first thank today's sponsor, AG1. AG yeah, they didn't pay me. Hey, Rook, Beautiful boy, an account looked after by me, a degree-educated mother choosing to stay anonymous. This was the bio of the first account pictured in the Reddit post, okay. an account named TruthSticks11, which was said to be operated by a 12-year-old boy and his mother. Holy Back in October shit. of 2021, the duo would make their very first post, kicking things off on a somewhat concerning note, though not for their own page, but instead, another account so. on the platform. So, that's the account run by... What the fuck? man pretending to be a boy <laughs> the video was created and posted by the mother for the sole purpose of warning others of a specific user who had been posing as a child online when in actuality he was a grown man who did this in order to get close to and exploit other children across the platform it's the grim reality of this online world as predators will do just about anything to get closer to children and it's a reality often un that's insane, Drake. Ignored by parents, I heard which you makes like it almost up. refreshing that this mother was out here trying to raise awareness. Blue radio. What's blue radio? This post would become the crux of the account early on. They would call out this user and their many accounts again and again. Eventually, going more in depth about what this person would actually do, claiming that they had a strange perversion to dressing up as a young schoolboy. Oh my god! Does he wish they he were a like young us. boy in a school classroom, looking nice and being successful at school? Yes. This theme of calling out online predators would remain consistent throughout the years on Truth Sticks 11. However, after some time. Why, why do you think calling me a pedophile, saying that I like kids was okay? The last three people who are permabanned said the same shit. Why would you think that's okay? You know I don't play around with that shit. Over here, we don't joke about liking kids and involving me in that shit. Bro, stop it. 
I'm let you off because you know I know you was just joking. Okay, P Diddy might not be joking, but don't play around with that shit, bro. I was gone for two minutes. <laughs> Wait, what happened? He said he called me a pedophile. Said I like kids. I'm the mother behind the account began to use the page for its initially intended purpose to share photos of her son. They now like us. The photos began reasonably oh my. normal. Is that Kipperitis? And would show this young boy studying at school, accepting awards from their principal, <laughs> and even school presentations in which their son had attended. This is a cool album cover, though. With the captions often boasting about how if intelligent rapper, the young boy Nesbitt. was. Though over time, the photos began to grow. Stranger. Was he just doing? Oompa! Oh, I thought this was like an ashtray. <laughs> I was like, yo, son. This is like AI. <laughs> they looked off. That's me looking into the camera. Almost as if they were AI generated. And on top Ooh. of this, they began to appear heavily edited in an almost inexplicable manner. With deep red no, lipstick no, often no, being added, no. which was enunciated by his face being turned pure white. Oh my this gosh. unsettling trend would continue from here, as with each passing post, the photos grew less oh authentic and gosh. more surreal. Until they became straight up disturbed, even oh, sickening. Hell no. These bizarre edits spilled over past just the images too, as the posts began to appear as disjointed. Why did someone just say Sia Dukes live? Collages, often showcasing multiple grotesque images and paragraphs about how much this user loved school. And this wasn't the only shift either. At some point, the son oh behind the account gosh. began posting content that allegedly came directly from him, saying things like, "My really cool mom asked me if I'd like to post, and I said yes, please." We go back even to shared what? Some I don't want to go back to any of those images. videos that he had filmed of himself, which were equally as unconvincing oh as his photos, gosh. and somehow even more chilling. Here's me at school. Why is he rizzing me up? Bitch, I had enough. The boy even shows off his singing in one of the clips. Though their voice sounds what in the off. What? The account was overall anomalous and extremely anomalous. Often. And though this content was visually alarming, another aspect made it even more so concerning, as over time, many of the images began to resemble CP, showcasing these fake AI children in explicit This positions. is ass not gonna lie, so we just have the attention span of a two-year-old, because everyone else is loving this and is creepy. With their faces sometimes even being photoshopped onto scantily dressed oh adult bodies. Oh my gosh! One thing is blatantly obvious about the Truth Sticks account. The supposed child behind it is not real. Even in the more passable photos at the very beginning, there is evidence to suggest that these were likely AI as well. And based on the oh my, look at that forehead! Bro, that look like featured, agent! It seemed more than likely that whoever was behind this page was not an innocent mother concerned for the welfare of other children, but instead, a predatory individual themselves. Oh my gosh! A pedophile made this to- For what reason? For what reason? And this wasn't their only account. A pedophile who the second page featured kid? on the Reddit post belonged to a user named Girl Chloe 12 and bore striking similarities to Truth Sticks. The page was also supposedly run by a child and monitored by their parent. Bizarrely, they also posted frequently about the dangers of online predators, with the wording of these posts and the editing being essentially the exact same as Truth Sticks. So they... <laughs> so they, they're trying to shoot their own team? Just not what as over the top. These two accounts even frequently interacted with each other, thus That's providing like a substantial link bad. of its own. But by far the most compelling link between these pages is one that is easy to miss at a glance. With that being a blatant obsession Get that fucking with high-heeled mini boots. These shoes were mentioned or shown in virtually every Friendly single fire, post yeah. made by these two users. At playtime, I'm sometimes running around with my really cool heeled footwear I wear with my uniform. 
After coming home from school, education isn't over for the day once the blue blazer, gray jersey, neat tie, so white shirt, playing? tailored close-fit gray trousers, and black heeled mini boots are in the wardrobe. Ugh. No matter what they discussed, school uniforms and mini boots were always a talking point, which adds confirmation to something that is already What little boys apparent. wearing those? This is fetish content, not too unlike the bizarre accounts in the Pipergate rabbit hole. Fetish content- In the what rabbit hole?! And centered around children. And what makes the Chloe account so disturbing is that AI was seemingly not used, and rather, the images seemed to be of actual children. Despite this disturbing distinction, these two accounts are cut from the same cloth, and all signs point to them being created by the same person. A person who, despite their constant warnings of the dangers of adults pretending to be children online... Now, one of them... <laughs> this will be a fire album cover, though. Not gonna lie, look at this shit! <laughs> Bro's posted up. Why is bro posted up at the gas station? <laughs> Yo! Why you kinda look like me when I was a kid? Yo! Seems to be doing the exact same thing as part of some sort of fetish. Lip the filler, extent yeah. of which we'll discuss ah, later. These kids but these for days. now, one thing was for certain. These pages were not run by children or their parents. So who <laughs> created them? A pedophile well, that brings kids. us to our third and final account shown in that initial post. Oh, I forgot there was more accounts! was much the same as the other two accounts. They warned of online predators, obsessed over high-heeled mini boots and school uniforms, and posed as a child despite clearly not being one. But Smart Schoolboy was different in one key aspect. The person behind the account was pretending to be a child, but they were doing so in a much more apparent manner, GGs. as they didn't use AI or oh stolen images gosh. of other kids to form their identity. And instead, they used photos of... themselves. That's... this is dumb? This is dumb?! In the images posted on the account, we see what appears to be a fully grown man, dressed in a schoolboy's uniform. His face is painted pure white. Oh my gosh! It has bright red lipstick. And he's, of course, wearing high heeled mini boots. Characteristics that were all utilized across the other accounts. Only this time, it was done on himself, as he poses as a child pretending this to go to school. This is fucking insane! Well this is the person who ran the other account, but they're using, they're dressing up as the little boy that they're making. What sick individual is this? How do you. Rashim, I swear this is creepy as hell. No, on God it is. Y'all said Freaky Friday, bro. Y'all said Freaky Friday, so here it is, bro. I was pretending to go through other life events common for preteens. And the photos aren't even the most disturbing part, as the what account is? consists primarily of videos. Videos? Oh. School boys. <laughs> The videos are all incredibly off-putting. Some show him arriving home from school. Others show him claiming to be on the bus heading towards school. Yeah. Okay. Yes, an older school bus. And other videos showing him doing. Yo, chat, y'all gotta stop making me laugh. This is serious, and y'all making me giggle. What do we show you how this firework? Like, 4th of July! <laughs> stop quoting this. Stop. Stop. Actual child roleplay disgust me? It should disgust everyone, bro. It, like, I can't. If you put a bib on and suck on a pacifier, kill yourself. If you do this, I want you to be in jail. Torture. Torture should be. Tortured. Torture, torturing people should be allowed. RP, you're the. <laughs> Gosh. Do not look at memes. Me, IRL. Okay. You should put the screenshot of me doing the pose with him, bro. That would, against, that would be a fire cover. Actually, never mind. It's a predator. Never mind. This don't, is. Don't dissociate. What? This is. With these strange sounds and the process of sticking his tongue out appearing to be part of his fetish. How? How, how are you doing that? 
head game go crazy. As much like the other account. <laughs> Yo. Like, I want to joke, but this is like dead ass. His content is overtly sexual in its own bizarre way. <laughs> Bro, I will be scrolling on TikTok and see this video. It's like some unk doing some shit. <laughs> In fact, there's a video of him with his full outfit on, where he shows himself staring into a mirror as he appears to pleasure himself, right out of view of the camera, as he stares into his own eyes. What? This account is by far the most sickening part of this whole rabbit hole, and oh also the most important. Gosh. Interspersed throughout his page are a few examples of what this individual's voice sounds like. This is quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Which just so happens up. to be the same voice heard in the very first clip shown on the Truth Sticks account. Man, pretending to be a boy. <laughs> Meaning that this full-grown adult man is the one behind this, this entire big rabbit. Body bitch. He's the one on these accounts pretending to be a child and their mother, getting some sort of sick satisfaction from whatever oh this gosh. is. And the worst part is, these activities aren't just kept behind closed doors. Me, when I see this guy, I know what this clip is, on God. It's a, it's a cane, it's a cane, it's a cane, it's a cane! It's a cane, guys. It's a candy cane. Keep it's firing. A cane. Keep firing. It's a, it's a, Maybe it's a cane, twice. It's a cane, it's a cane, it's a cane! Keep firing. He said it oh. about 30. <laughs> Keep, uh, 10 more rounds. As we can see on numerous occasions, videos of him walking around outside in a public space with his full outfit and face paint on. He goes outside with this. Look at that tree. It's truly one of the strangest things that I've ever seen, and making sense of what this all is is extremely difficult. But based on the information found from this first Reddit post, a few likely conclusions can be put forward. This man is clearly attracted to the idea of being a kid, and I think OP was correct when they speculated that this was some sort of age play thing, but it's also clearly much more than that too. As based- Like, I'm just like, he's so like massive, bro. Like a kid can't fight back against this. Have you ever like, I'm just like, Thinking of like the worst, bro. This is fucking sickening. This is this is not. Oh my gosh, bro. What's in the app? He low key got the nerd emoji. No, he do. He has the nerd emoji teeth on God. He's on God. That he's what do you think? When he does that, you can see the SpongeBob teeth peeking himself, through. He clearly has some sort of attraction. They are to massive. Other I don't know why I didn't well, say that earlier. As he's quite look, literally created that tooth. That one tooth has a lifespan of like a dinosaur, bro. Faux CP, the likes of which is so disturbing huh? that I as well. As he's quite literally created faux CP, the likes what does of that which mean? is so disturbing. What is faux CP? That I can't even really describe it here either. He's creating fetish content. Oh, like a the AI generated of it? And he's using the likeness of children, and also some children oh that are clearly gosh. very real people, to do so. That much is obvious. But there was also the possibility that he was pretending to be a kid in order to exploit other children he's across the internet. Some trees. At this point, though, this was merely oh speculation, with much of the Smart Schoolboy 9 case remaining a mystery. And the rabbit hole was only getting deeper from here. He was jerking in that video, bro. What could the third account be? Oh, Once after this rabbit up. hole was introduced to the online no, world. No, chat, y'all fuck with me. If I'm in cam, y'all y'all fuck with me. This bitch gets in fucking camera. I want you to leave the stream. The story began to be shared all across the That's internet. That's what he said. Most up. notably on the r slash internet mystery subreddit, where the case really took off. There, internet sleuths began uncovering just how vast this web of accounts actually was. As it wasn't just these three pages. No, there seemed to be over a dozen, and likely even more that we still haven't found. What? As he's created his own sort of community, his own little world, where across each page he pretends to be a child. With these accounts typically following each other and frequently interacting, seemingly to make these characters appear as though they have real friends. That's insane. Pages, that's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. Well, Stockwell Joanne. He, he just created his own town of children. Poses as a 14 year old girl, using more AI images to depict explicit positions of this manufactured child, which I obviously am not going to show here. Though, much like his Chloe account, he Look also shows images of very real young girls. But this isn't the most concerning part of this account. As on numerous occasions, he's shown images of children at a playground. Which he may have taken himself. 
This fantasy of being a schoolgirl and taking part in these school-centric activities is something carried over throughout multiple of his accounts, with his most common alias being Stephanie, of which he has numerous different accounts featuring that same name. We are all figments of your imagination, Rasheem. We are all you. So you lead me to believe that me streaming has all been me creating my own magical world. Hey, if you're seeing this, please wake up. You're in a coma. Hello? 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 Guys, I'm not dumb. Your breath stank? No, it doesn't, bro. Tastes like sunshine and rainbows. Go away. Why would I create my own imaginational chat and they all, they all fucking hate me? Why would I make a chat that hates me? Why would I? You know what I'm saying? Raspberry, don't listen to the voices. <laughs> They're fake. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, voice number three. <laughs> don't listen to voices. They're not real. Ah. Thanks, voice number 10. I appreciate it. Talking to like a little <laughs> a teddy bear. Thanks, voice number three. You're right. <laughs> ah, I knew I could trust you. Come here. Ah. <laughs> Jeremy? Who's Jeremy? The tr I fuck the Truman Show is a good movie. The Truman Show is a good movie, though. Please wake up, machine. <laughs> this just pissed me off. Yeah. I'm Stephanie. Oh my this gosh. Stephanie character claims to be a 12 year old. She aspiring keeps getting poet, younger and with younger. accounts all across the internet, many of which showcasing examples of her poetry, which carries on those same distinct sexual undertones. I race to complete my poems when I've got an early start. Heart racing, mixed rhythms, maximizing miracles, rice with rap, and on the map, my what? Kennington, London syllables. Dancing though, I know my under. Okay, he might be a weirdo, but hold on, let him get in the booth. Rice with rap. This might be Drake. Up and on the map, my Race Kennington, rap and on the map, syllables. and I'm dancing and I'm though, and I know my underwear might show if I lean forward. Never mind. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna Good. be sick, bro. Stephanie Stansfield, twelve. But digging even deeper, her poetry has even seemingly been featured in various articles and even newspapers showcasing that this rabbit hole extends far past just the online world. This act is clearly their obsession, and he's been doing this for years, with the earliest examples that I could find coming from all the way back in 2018. And this Stephanie character seems to be his go-to alias, embodying it in even the literal sense. Somebody shoot this man in his house. SOMEBODY KILL HIM! As in one of his many He's pretending to be a 12-year-old th girl, bro. This man's pretending to be a child. Run it back. I just wanna be part of your time <laughs> That's not what I meant to do.